So let's talk about love blocks. What exactly is a love block and how do you know which love blocks that you have? Now, after doing this for 20 years, I took a research approach to figuring out the formula based in science to being able to help any woman, no matter her age, her size, her looks, or number of kids she has, to be able to attract a wonderful man who's effed up, fun, faithful, and once forever to love her soul. So through that process, what I realized is that there are five archetypes. If you have been trying for more than three months, you fall in one of the five love archetypes. Based on your archetype, check this out, y'all. We have been able to predict this down like to a T. So when our students come, we already know what you've been doing. We already know what are the blocks. We already know what technique, what method, and what order will allow you to remove the blocks to clear your hallway so you can get into your master bedroom in the fastest period possible so that you can attract your romantic best friend. So if you are operating with love blocks, and you're falling into one of these five love archetypes and you are unaware of how that archetype is hindering you. If you're unaware of how your love archetype is keeping you in the same cycle of attracting the same Build-A-Bear with a different face. Some of you guys have been stuck on a booty call for years. Some of you guys, and I already feel it, that married man was supposed to come over your house last night and he did not. Okay, and you have been dealing with his bull do for years. Some of you resent your ex so much that you can't even allow love in your life. And some of you are not even mad. Like you think you're mad at the guy that broke your heart, but you're more mad at yourself. The things that you say to yourself are even more diabolical than what the person did to hurt you in the first place. And all of that stems back to the fact that when you are dating with love blocks, ma'am, you are a magnet to the traumas that are begging to be healed so that you can have everything and then some that God has in store for you. So you're a magnet to them. You will always attract at your lowest point of trauma. And if you don't know what your love archetype is, you're not gonna even know. You're, not, you're blind to even yourself and how you are automatically moving. So the five love archetypes that I've discovered through my two decades of research are Ruby, the type A personality, make it happen type woman, the amethyst, okay? Amethyst women, they can also be a Ruby, but she can be a Ruby amethyst because amethysts were violated usually when they were a child. And that experience has left a hole that attracts the most ratchet, low quality men who treat her like utter crap. And then you have the citrine. Citrine women tend to be women who either witness abuse and, or and she continues to attract abuse, whether that's mental, physical, emotional, all that kind of abuse. That's the citrine. And so an onyx is the empathic woman. Now, let me help you understand, ladies, okay? Because being empathic is not a bad thing. It's actually a gift. However, you got to call thing a thing. Being empathic stems from trauma. Okay, it stems from trauma. It's because you were in an environment that was emotionally unsafe, unstable. So you had to learn how to be really good at taking the emotional temperature in the room. You had to be really good at being able to read people and feel people. And then oftentimes you became a people pleaser with no boundary and then you blamed yourself and took on other people's stuff as your own. Okay, so the last one is a diamond. And the diamond, here's the crazy thing about a diamond. A diamond is the woman who like, she doesn't even see how great she is. She thinks she's a piece of coal. She thinks that she isn't pretty enough. She thinks that she's not good enough. Her friends all think she's amazing. However, she will put herself down, okay? You'll see like a, a diamond that could be a model. I find that there's a lot of models that are diamonds. And what you'll find is you may be two or more of the archetypes. You might be a ruby amethyst or a ruby amethyst onyx or a citrine onyx, okay? You might find that you're a mix. However, when you take the love archetype quiz that's at bossdiva.com, then your archetype, whatever it comes out as being your archetype, that's a specific archetype path that's going to be more prominent that is going to tell you what type of relationships 
what type of men that you're most likely going to attract. It's telling you how are you approaching dating. 